Hello everyone, welcome into the game. Thanks so much for joining me. We've got the game two here of a best of five for the Mars Dota League season final uh, between Empire and Secret here. And uh, well, just to give you a bit of background, unless if you missed the first video, uh, I was really unhappy with the quality of the VODs that were available for the MDL final. I didn't get to watch them online because they were basically unwatchable. Didn't hear the casters half the time, could barely hear the game, it was stuttering all the time, the <sighs> robot voices, it was just really unpleasant. So I thought, I want to hear these games, I want to see these games, I'll just do them myself, have a little bit of fun in the process, get some casting practice, and hopefully give you guys maybe slightly higher quality VODs. Of course, the trade-off is you've got my crappy, crappy casting to go along with it, but that being said, thanks seconds. for joining me. Uh, let's take a peek at the draft so far. So we got Empire Five picking up a Shadow man. Fiend Disruptor opener, and uh, Secret have picked man. up the Clockwork Lesh, so probably a Shadow Fiend Lesh uh, mid. Um, and that's going to be a lane where both S4 and Resolution Ten have the potential to, to get a lot. We'll have to see what both sides want to go for as their Five supports hurry, to get a hurry. sense of how much early roaming potential there will be here. Disruptor, obviously, Reserve a great time. hero for that, and one of Aloha Dance's best heroes. At the same time, Zai Clockwork, not to be underestimated, Radiance and they go for it first pick, which up. not normally where you see Clockwork picked, but maybe an indication of how valuable Secret feel that hero is to their plan for this game. It's interesting to try and get a sense of what both teams want to do. I mean, Secret, they won last game fairly handily against an Undying, but they banned it out here, and maybe indicating that they're not quite as comfortable Ten letting Shadow Fiend pick. snowball because they're too focused on an Undying, so making a lot of sense Crazy. there. Empire, they'll get rid of the Dying Keeper of the Light. Now, That's a respect ban against Puppy if I've ever seen one, and, well, wisely so, because that hero can do a lot in the hands of an experienced player, which Puppy absolutely is on that Keeper of the Light. Secret will pick up a Razor here for Arteezy. This is some flashback to TI4 Dota here. And uh, a hero who's fallen off quite a lot, but still one of my favorite heroes, actually. And I'm Only glad to see him coming seconds. back into the game a little bit. And of course, Arteezy plays that Razor like a beast. Five seconds. Although this hurry, does pose the question then, if uh, this is an Arteezy Razor, it's I guess he plays the, the one roll now on Secret, though. It'll be S4 taking the Lush mid then, and the Razor as the safe laner, which is actually just fine, because Razor will be able to get his farm. He's a, he's a good lane matchup against most heroes, it feels like, unless Empire wants to do a super aggressive tri lane. But, I mean, then Secret have the potential to dodge that with the clock. I feel like the next pick will Dang, give us... Okay, so there's your there's your support duo Radio for Empire. The Gopher Always Wanna Fly is Ventral Spirit, another one of their classic heroes. Both of these supports on heroes that they're very, very comfortable with. As Actually, I mean, this feels like a comfort draft from Team Empire a lot. Uh, just as last game did, honestly. These are, these are heroes these guys know in and out, backwards and forwards, and... This also is a, a duo that can get a lot done in lane, Ten but at the same time, pick. they actually, they can roam. I mean, Five you've got Ventral Spirit remain. with that stun, setting up the Disruptor with a glimpse back. If Disruptor and Sha Reserve Ventral time. Spirit rotate to a mid lane where Shadow Fiend's farming, they can easily, easily find a kill on a Leshrac. Or a Razor, for that matter, if, if they want to switch it around, although I'm pretty confident that Lesh will be going mid. Some teams do still choose to run them as a support, but I'm finding that less and less common. And, well, against this lineup, if Lush gets a BKB as a core, he's going to do a lot of work in this game, it feels like. And uh, against Shadow Fiend Disruptor and Ventral Spirit, these are all... Heroes that don't have super long range and also are fairly squishy for a good chunk of the game. Enigma. So, And there's the Enigma pickup that I was expecting Die last game pick. for Puppy. So very, very greedy draft coming up from them. 
especially against the Disruptor Venge duo from Empire. I mean, you know that Empire are going to want to fight with Strong this. Strong spirit. To go for a greedy jungler, well, Puppy, ban. he is pretty good at that hero. And he does get a lot out of it early. And then if Leshrac does end up going for a, a more edict heavy build, they can for, uh, force towers quite early. Only Dorsary will be the pickup for Empire. So now, is this a safe lane Five seconds remain. storm for Silent? Or is it a safe lane Shadow Fiend for... Reserve time. Hmm. Ten seconds I feel like pick. the Storm Spirit will probably be the safe lane choice here. Dive Shadow ban. Fiend, a little weak in the safe lane position, I feel. And... He just, does, he just needs the levels too much. He needs Radiant those early three points and raise. He needs that access to the jungle really, really close so he can farm up his camps and... Well, we'll have to see where they want to go with it. Naga will be the final ban out for Empire. Anticipating uh, that could actually be a, a Kuroki Naga. We've seen support Naga from Secret a couple times recently, and it's paid off for them quite well. Only 10 seconds. Bounty Hunter. And Bounty Hunter last pick. Look at the greed coming up from Secret. Picking. This is exceptional levels of greed. And Enigma Bounty Hunter is your... So I guess support duo. This is a profoundly risky play from Secret. I mean, Vengeful Spirit and Disruptor, they give Empire quite strong lanes. Disruptor is a little level dependent, but then, goodness, so is Bounty Hunter. And we'll have to see... Only 10 seconds. If this is, is this going to be a Kuro Bounty Hunter? Five seconds. I really Five don't think they're going to give a desire for the offlane. It's... Almost certainly a support. Empire Reserve feels time. like you're a little thrown for a loop here. Probably going to be going, well, definitely, honestly, being go going to be going for their offlane here. And they can go, f I think, for something pretty greedy. I, I really doubt Secret's ability to contest them in the lane. So it feels like they can go for almost anyone they want here. They're lacking... They could use a little more lockdown. They do have the Ventral Spirit stun. They do have Kinetic Field. At the same time, maybe they want something to cancel the Black Hole. Disruptor with Glimpse can do it. But generally you want a little more than that. Venge's stun, a little too short range. Of course the Swap can cancel it, actually. Yeah, never mind. The Swap combined with the Glimpse, that's two really nice uh, ultimate canceling abilities on Enigma. And they'll go for a Darkseer. So, really, really smart. This Darkseer is going to get a lot out of this map, I feel. And I, I'm i really not a fan of this secret draft, honestly. Empires just feels a lot stronger to me, and a lot less... It, it, it doesn't require as much to execute. I feel like secret... Everything has to go right for them. And I mean, if everything does go right, they can have really, really strong teamfight presence. A, a farmed Razor, a farmed Lashrac are going to be able to do a lot in this game with what they've got backing them up. But at the same time, the team fight coming up from Empire is terrific and their laning phase should be much, much better. We'll have to see what Secret can do with it, I guess. It is all going to come down a lot to the early Ten game play from Kuroki on this bounty hunter. And also how heavily Empire pressure. Five if they do seconds. an invade hurry, and get some hurry. really good blockage on Puppy's jungle camps, then slow his early game down, then I feel like Empire are going to be off to the races. And even if they don't, then I think the pressure is on Secret to, to show us what they can do to really perform here. With that being said, let's get the game started. We're underway and on your Radiant side. We've got just Arteezy taking the Lush Rack. It'll be Puppy mind. on... Actually, interesting that they give Arteezy the, the Lush. Uh, Puppy on the Enigma, going jungle most likely, Kuroki on that support bounty hunter and S4 on the mid razor with uh, uh, Zai as the last hero taking up that clockwork. And on the dire side we've got Yoki taking the off lane Darkseer. It'll be Resolution going mid on the Shadow Fiend as expected. That leaves Aloha Dance playing his signature disruptor. 
What a hero player combo this is. Always want to fly on that Fential Spirit, and that leaves Silent safe farming on the Storm Spirit. As far as early game aggression goes, doesn't look like Empire are really interested in countering Puppy's Jungle. They haven't even gone near that side of the map. Although Secret clearly expecting them to with S4 just guarding the high ground here. And Kroki is invised up. Looking for the go onto Resolution here, maybe. Is there a stun? Odds to hold the rest of the team out. There it is. Resolution's going to fall here. Beautifully played from Secret. Excellently placed cogs from Zai. The stun was there from Arteezy and it was not dodged. And they might actually get some more here. Roki will fall only barely. And Aloha Dance, he's in trouble, but he does make it alive. Zai getting quite low as well, but that'll be the end of it. So it was a one for one, but first blood does go the way of Secret. And who does pick that up? It was Arteezy who got it. So he's going to have a great mid lane on this Lesh. With that start that he's got, Bottle should be coming out very, very shortly for him on top of the Null Talisman. And, oh! Okay, I missed that Clockwork falling. Um, maybe he's suicided to the Ancients. At the same time, Secret putting a lot of damage onto Yoki here, but Yoki should be fine. He is only level 1, though. Doesn't quite have that Surge up yet. I want to see. Yeah, Clockwork suicided. So it's still only a 1 for 1 trade. Wanted the quick trip back to the lane and and did get it. So, he's actually posting up against Silent quite hard. Already deprived him of a lot of his mana. And, uh... Already level 2. Getting a lot here. Silent actually might be in a little bit of trouble. The... Para uh... The battery Assault will be more than enough damage, and that's a solo kill on a Storm for your Clockwork. Beautifully played from Zai. Now almost level 3 at <laughs> one and a half minutes. I mean, talk, I talked about Empire having the stronger lanes, but we're not really seeing it here. RTZ posting up against the Shadow Fiend, and your, your supports from Empire haven't really done a lot yet. I mean, they do need some baseline as far as levels go. Resolution barely dodging that stun there, and Kroki taking a lot of damage, but Resolution might fall anyway. RTZ wants it, and he's going to go for it, finds the kill, may fall to the tower. No, he gets away, and Kroki will be safe as well, so... Another nice kill coming out here. Yoki maybe wants this, but only uh, doesn't have the wherewithal to get in range. So, 3 for 2 coming out on the map. And, uh... Well, and Puppy's completely uncontested, too. So, Secret getting the better of the lanes and with the Greedy Jungler. This is definitely going in their favor. As Puppy is your last hit leader at 12. Darks are getting a decent amount as, amount as well here, but S4 reasonably good against him in lane, and will take a lot of harass. Meanwhile, in your top lane, Zai, or RTZ again, gets very, very low, but they get a double kill onto the Disruptor and the Storm Spirit. Kuroki is 0-1-2, and two. he's done work in this early game, but, I mean, RTZ... 4 and 0 before the 3 minute mark. He's doing absolutely fantastically this game and with a great start out on him early, Empire have to be really really worried. His damage is going to be massive if he continues on this progression. At the same time, Resolution is getting some time to catch up in the mid lane, which he needs because he is a little behind. Just because of the early aggression coming in from Secret. Kroki? Now? Holding on to this solo offlane position as where is Zai rotated? He's mid lane and uh Arteezy just okay Puppy was just in the mid or Zai was just in the mid for a moment. He'll rotate back top once Arteezy gets back here. Just taking advantage of the map uh, getting as as much out of this as they can. I mean you've got to support Bounty Hunter who's getting a level a minute uh, he's doing very, very well for himself, and talked about how if he didn't get off to a great start, Secret, we're going to have trouble. Well, this is about as good a start as he could have asked for so far. 5-3 to three your score, 4 minutes in, and uh, Secret with uh, farming quite well in all their cores as well. Now, Yoki is being pressured back from the lane a little bit by Puppy here, who 
is in, in its characteristic sense already almost level six in just four and a half minutes. Meanwhile, top lane, Kroki has taken a lot of damage. He's trapped out here and will get the, the deny off to the neutral creeps. Well played from him. Sly walks away and uh, nothing doing. Three heroes in the top lane fail to get that kill and Zai will be very pleased with that. Rohan is probably going to have to go back to base damage. as well. So he's going to continue to not get as much out of this as he kill. Look at how aggressively Arteezy is posting up here in the mid lane. He knows that there's absolutely no way that the Empire supports are going to be coming anywhere near him right now. And he's also got this very nice aggressive ward protecting him from movement from the gun. His gun goes out, just checking to see if anyone's there, uh, not wanting to get caught out. Uh, but he'll be absolutely safe. He's picking here quite heavily. wonder who he thinks is in there. Always want to fly pinged out. Arteezy's going to go for him. The slow from the lightning comes out, and there's the stun. But the raise is coming from Resolution over the top. Arteezy might have bitten off more than he can chew. No! Kuroki with the massive damage from the Janata. And now Resolution's going to fall too. Arteezy lives. And what looked like it could have been a disastrous go for Secret turns into a 2 for 0. This Arteezy Lesh, 6 and 0. Oh. He's more than a kill a minute right now, and he's going to have such a fast Bloodstone that I really worry for Secret or for Empire in this game already. And I mean, look at Zai. He's almost level five as well. The the spread on the Secret Heroes is just so good. Now let's take a peek, an early peek, because it's only six minutes at the XP graph. Three K. XP lead at the 6 minute mark, and about the same gold lead. This is an immense lead for this early in the game. Always want to fly, we'll get that D-Ward off. Uh, but that's a small victory, and Aloha Dance invised up, looking for a go. If they can find Arteezy, be huge, but he knows something's up. He's playing very, very far back, and... Well, Poppy has that level 6 up, Black Hole is ready, and we just know that the, re the rotation is going to come up from them sooner rather than later. They want to protect their lead here and continue to put the pressure on Empire. And Zai, moments away from his hookshot as well, so... As a an Empire fan, you gotta be really concerned about the game state for the next two to three minutes. If Secret can continue to find the, the kills that they've been getting so far, then you really, really have to worry about Empire going into the mid-game. same time, Empire are doing okay as far as farm goes. Uh, the last hits are mostly fairly even. The, where you see the disparity is between the Razor and the Storm Spirit, but even that, it's not terrible, uh, given how far behind they are in Golden XP. Smoke up from Aloha Dance and always want to fly, looking for that rotation, but no one's there. This lane is completely abandoned as uh, the... Radiant heroes are going for a smoke up of their own. RTZ, Kuroki, and Zai. The hook shot is available and they want silent. Is he level 6 yet? He is. But is it going to be enough? He goes for the ball. He's out of mana! But <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, farming way too aggressively. And that'll be an easy kill for RTZ. Glimpse back on Zai. I'm going to pause for a second. Ah, excuse me. <coughs> The benefit of casting from a replay is that you can pause in those situations. I got a little overcome with emotion. Uh, let's get back into this as Storm Spirit has just fallen and Zygote comes back or he may have been able to make it go onto the Disruptor. <clears throat> so we're talking about a 7-0 uh, RTC Lesh Rack at 8 minutes into this game. And uh, that's a concern. Pause comes out from RTC, lagging a little bit. And let's take this moment to take a peek at uh, the item progression. So far, it looks like Secret working on that mech on Puppy. He's already got his soul ring up. And, well, S4 may be going for an early... What's that going to go into? Could be a pipe, but I really doubt that. It could be a four staff, maybe, but that's not really... Huh. I'm... There's probably an item that this is very, very obviously for. It could even actually... No, never mind. It's a casual ring because, of course, he's up against the Darkseer in lane and wants to be able to survive that level 4 Ion Shell spam. So 
probably not actually going to be building that into anything. Uh, but RTZ already was starting to work on that Bloodstone there. Point Booster online. And he's going to be a problem in these fights. Kuroki almost his, at his level 6. And I mean, we've got a Vengeful Spirit who's still only level 3. And a Disruptor is level 4. Kuroki with those uh, track scouts, Zai with the hookshot follow-up, and then uh, Arteezy who can just run around and look for kills at this point. He's without fear at this point in this game. Uh, these supports are going to be continually picked on, and because they're so far behind in levels, they're such easy kills when you've got the vision control that a bounty hunter who's ahead gives you. I mean... I've been talking a lot about how Empire is basically screwed. Let's see what they can do to get back into this. So, if you get a kill, first of all, onto RTZ, that's pretty huge. If you can find them, if you can bring them down, that's a pretty massive bounty. And that's a start. So maybe we've seen a couple smoke gas attempted from Empire. The problem is um, their supports are so underleveled that as teams just having a bit of a conversation about what's going on here. But I'll um, we'll have to wait and see where that goes. But as I was saying, I mean, the smoke gank is a bit of a risk because on the one hand, they need to find some pickoffs. Okay, uh, go, they go, can't go, really group go, up and go, fight. Go, they're too far behind. And, under fire. Uh, they're not great at split push either. So they want to find some pickoffs, but because the supports are so far behind, well, this will help. Resolution cleans up a big stack. Aloha Dance will take some XP from that and boost him up to level 5. That's much needed. At the same time, maybe looking for a go on to S4 here. Silent is in the era and he does have that level 7. He's got his jump online as well as an iron shell on him. As they push in for the tower here, there comes the jump. S4 may be caught here. Instant TP coming in. Is he tanky enough? He's taking a lot of damage and will fall. Zai though with the hook shot onto 2. Traps Silent in the cogs and he's running out of mana. Zai though may fall here. He's hiding in the trees. Is he not going to walk through the wall and Nice kill from Yoki with the Iron Shell spam, and he's even going to live. Does he have an escape route, though? He doesn't have... Okay, he does get away. Meanwhile, though, Zalan in trouble. He's going to get caught out here, out of mana, nowhere to run. And RTZ is godlike at 9 minutes into the game. Still, though, a very, very nice rotation from Empire. Much needed to get two kills on cores. And, uh, well, that'll be... Oh, it's just the last two. But... Uh, definitely something that Empire will be happy with, given the game state. Not quite enough, and of course the problem is that RTZ is really who they want to go on. And he was the Dyer's one who came in and cleaned it up at the end. Attacked. Already, with his Soul Booster finished at 9 minutes 40, he's going to have this Bloodstone scarily early. Fire. Ha! I knew they could and Kroki, able to just stay in lane solo, he's level 6 now. And he's able to get so much out of the map because of how far ahead he is. Smoke up on them now. Kuroki is being pinged though, but maybe it's a bait. Sai hanging behind, they're looking for the track. Hunting always want to fly in the jungle. Rocket comes out to scout him, and here comes the hook shot. And he's second now. Does he have it up? He does. They're looking for it. Pre place in the way though. And Resolution has rotated in. Kuroki in a bit of trouble here. The glimpse is available. Oh, hook shot onto his own ally. Yeah, a bit of a misplay there, but secret. They're, they're not going to be too sad. They missed the chance at a kill, but they'll maybe rotate this into a tower push. Now the puppies appeared in the lane. Make some Eidolons, and uh, this tower should go down relatively hastily. Actually, his Eidolons are already pressuring mid lane. Resolution rotated at the top to try and get something done, and... Well, his tower takes a lot of hits off of that. At the same time, Yoki is managing to get a lot of pressure onto this tier 1 in the bot lane. So, well played him, cutting the creep wave, giving his team at least a little bit of something. Three dire uh, Radiant heroes hovering around this mid lane here. They are being scouted, at least. Groki is Zai, though. It may not always hear, but he doesn't have a shot for another 23 minutes. Arteezy takes the last hit on the tower, just Radiant's a couple of hundred gold away from his demolished. blink dagger. And, uh, Dyer's well, it's a one-for-one -one tower trade so siege. far, but both Dyer teams looking to pressure into a tier two, towers. and I think Secret a little faster at that. Now uh, here come the rotations, Dyer's all of Empire streaming towards the top tower, but Sai 
is acting as the gatekeeper here. He's got the cogs out to delay Empire's rotation. Well, it'll give Puppy and RTZ time to back away, already having done about half damage to this tower. So, not being going to be too greedy, get away in time. All of Empire has rotated into the jungle for this. And Secret will just go back, spread the map. Puppy will get farm in this bottom lane. And uh, they'll pressure the tier 1 mid, and it looks like they should get it with no problem here. Will they be able to get away, though? Here comes the long jump from Silent. He wants S4 here, and he may get him. S4 is in a bit of trouble. He is tanky, but I'm not sure it's going to be enough. Yeah, there's the final stun coming out from Always Wanna Fly. We'll finish it off. So nice pick from them. They do lose their tower though. Uh, but uh, oh, hook shot onto always Aloha Dance. Nice block from the cogs, keeping Aloha Dance in the range of the stun. Resolution has come in though with the ultimate, and Arteezy has to turn around and run. He's not tanking enough to take the whole team just yet. Always on a fly, very very low, and Zai is in the neighborhood. But there are four Empire heroes here. Oh, stun onto Yoki. No, there's no follow up. Those bounce bouncing uh, Shuri Toss from the Bounty Hunter did work there, and Black Hole onto two, Kroki here with the damage on the Resolution, who will fall, and Yoki is in trouble now, he will surge himself away, and a little bit of a vacuum to prevent them from going on to Silent, who is out of mana, but Kroki has the track up, and he's looking for a go here, Puppy very, very fast, got a haste room popped, Silent out of mana completely, and uh, he will be able to get away, but only barely. And all of a sudden, massive damage onto this tier 2 mid off of that pickup. Resolution falling, and, uh, well, maybe now is the time to take a look at this board. The 5,000 gold lead for Secret, but as I say that, Yoki comes in, tracked instantly, runs back onto RTZ, they want him, but he turns on the ultimate, he has his bloodstone, 9 charges up on him already, and Empire wants to take this fight. Salon though, taking a lot of damage already, they've got RTZ, but he's just too tanky, the mech comes out from Secret as well, Yoki getting low, has the surge up though, so will be fine, and just a lot of chip damage on the both sides here, uh, looks like Secret don't want to retreat yet, they don't have Black Hole though, and uh, they're gonna they're gonna make the smart play in back. RTZ getting quite low. He did pick up another charge in his bloodstone, and they don't need to pressure this. Oh, re-engage, hooked out onto a Lola dance. Nice set of cogs, pushing him back. Kuroki should be able to get this kill, and Puppy doing a lot of work with that midnight pulse. Oh, resolution falling very very low. Will be able to step away, but uh, now with disruptor down, they're back and they want to pressure this tower yet again. Tracks are out on Empire, their movements are being scouted, and I don't think they can defend this tower anymore. Just waiting for a creep wave, and Arteezy already back to full health with those bloodstone charges. And here goes the tower, that's falling uh, completely uncontested at this point. And the sustain on Secret, with the, the level of bloodstone up on Arteezy at 14 minutes, is just really, really strong, and I've, they've got the mech as well. It's just... they've They've got more that they can contribute at this point. They're far enough ahead that the items, as well as the level differences, is really making a significant play here. Broki dusts it up, will fall here, the glimpse is available. The resolution will clean this one up, so nice kill from him, but he misses support Bounty Hunter. He is not worried about trading his life at this point, especially given how much he's gotten out of this game so far. Silent. Farming very, very low in the offlane here, and there is a Radiant Hero in the neighborhood. Zai looking for a hook shot. Is he going to find it? He's got the rock available to scout. Okay. Silent. Okay. Takes the hook shot. Actually misses it the second time. And no love for him. Same time in the top lane. They want Arteezy here. Aloha Dance. Very, very fast. Surged up and they get the vision onto him. There's the glimpse back into the stun from Aloha Dance. And the storm to follow it up. But... He's got the movement, and he's just too tanky. Resolution pops the ultimate, but he's caught up by a nice stun from Arteezy and will fall. At the same time, Aloha Dance tracked up will go down as well. And Yoki, he's going to fall here as well with the track. Four heroes down, Arteezy on a double kill, and so many of these are track kills. I mean, the gold lead that Secret is accruing is just way too massive for Empire to deal with this at this point. Now let's look at the fight recap here. Oh, that's even just the last kill. And that's 843 gold for the offlane. Just with that belt, uh, with that track gold, and okay, he's not close to level uh, 11 just yet. But may get caught out here, doing some rewarding. He will fall. 
But again, he's just doing so much work. And actually, he's going to get away. If he wanted the sentry, the track comes out. And now Silent may be in trouble here. He does clean up Kuroki. Maybe stuck around a bit too long. But now he's out of mana. And they still have perfect vision on him. They're very, very speedy. Will he be able to get away? Sai, faking out the hook shot. Scouting it with the rocket. And uh, Silent, will he be able to juke this? No, they don't even need to juke. Oh, nice. Zip onto the low ground, but Puppy in the neighborhood with the Maledict. And Zai still has that hookshot available, not even needed, as they track Silent down, and he will fall. So, long chase, but definitely worth it, with that kill onto the one position on Empire. And Yoki doing what he can in this offlane, going for a mech of his own uh, on top of that hood that he's picked up. Actually, full hood of defiance up on him, but... Eesh. State of the game for Empire, not good. We're talking about over a 10k gold lead at the 17 minute mark. And and about 7k XP as well, so... Resolution. He's got a mech online, but he's having to rush the BKB. That means he's going a straight defensive build. Doesn't have really have any damage other than the Requiem and the Raises. And we're talking about uh, against the Lesh, who's going to have a BKB any moment almost. Yeah, he, can afford, he can afford it in just a few hundred gold. I mean, S4 as well. He's gone for a tanky build. He's got the mech for his team. And has gone for drums as well. So, ready to fight early. Resolution is being scouted out by the rocket here. And there's three Empire heroes in the Radiant Jungle. But, I'm not sure what they're going to get out of this. Secret are backing off into the cover of their Tier 2 tower. Is there a smoke? Puppy's gone right for a for a pipe actually very very early pipe pickup from him realizing that that uh, with with resolution not going for right click damage here all they really have to worry about is magic at this point and with that pipe up they're really setting themselves up for a high ground push here really really soon and they can i mean there's only two towers left on the map in this bottom lane here and it looks like secret the choice is going to be roche they have vision control in the area around the pit even if Empire knew it was happening, I'm not sure they can contest. And nice illusion play, scouting out the, the passage onto the high ground here. Galleon pops onto the Roche with the Eidolons. This is going to be an easy takedown. Empire not even looking to contest. They're trying to get a trade on the other side of the map, going for this tier 1, which... Completely useless tower at this point in the game. Uh, but any, any gold influx for them will help. It's something they desperately need. And Roche falls, Arteezy picks that up, and, well, he's got a BKB as well, with 16 bloodstone charges. He's 11, 0, and 5, and uh, 10k gold up on him at the 19 minute mark. Very, very impressive play from him. Empire will claim this tower, but the TPs are coming in. They want to fight here, and BKB popped an Arteezy. He's going for this. Will clean up. I uh, always want to fly in a low head dance fairly quickly. Pipe popped, actually, on Empire as well. Nice pickup from them, and Arteezy, has he overextended? No. He will get the kill onto Destructor. In the meantime, on the backside, Resolution falls, and Yoki may fall here as well. Arteezy has gotten quite low, maybe going for the Lightning Storm to slow. Yeah, and the Surge has expired. He's going to go for the stun here, and if he gets it, that's probably a dead Yoki. No, he won't get it. So, actually, on the backside, I was following the least interesting part of that fight as four heroes do fall across the map for the side of Empire. Yoki, the sole hero to get away. And Arteezy got quite low, but 17 bloodstone charges. He's going to be up again in no time. And Roche is being... No, Roche has fallen. I don't know why they're circling that. They're going to go for a high ground push here. 2200 gold up on S4. I wonder what he's going for here. Maybe straight into a BKB, although he could go for an Ags if they want to make their high ground push that much scarier. Already halfway there if that's the case. And Zai, actually going for an Orchid build up this game. What a good choice on him. Realizing that they don't really need any defensive items on him. And uh, his ability to lock out the Storm Spirit and the uh, Shadow Fiend is going to be absolutely invaluable in these fights. So he's picked it up. That's a 20 minute Orchid on your offlane clockwork, who's 4, 3, and 8. And TP comes in from... Uh, Arteezy already has Boots of Travel as well. Uh, this is a bit scary, and by a bit I mean a lot, and by a lot I mean Empire have to back here. So pop up the kinetic field just to be safe, but Secret aren't necessarily interested, they just want to clean up these last towers on the f on the map, completely shut out Empire from any map control whatsoever. 
and then go for the jugular. They've still got this Aegis for another couple of minutes yet, and it looks like the bottom lane is where they want to exert pressure. Silent doing what he can in the mid lane, but they've got to retreat. They've got to defend their high ground here. It is going to be pressured very, very aggressively. Oh, Kroki, he's got a Glimmer Cape and a Solar Crest up, and uh, Arteezy is going to be just completely invulnerable, it feels like, in this fight. Dominating on Zai. Where did he go in? Oh, on the mid lane, he catches out Storm, who was split pushing very, very aggressively. Pipe popped on the side of the secret. They're going to catch Resolution. Nice swap to keep him alive, but he may fall anyway. Meg pop. Puppy wants him really badly, and the lightning slow comes out onto him. Are they going to get it? Oh, he, he will go down. RTZ so low, but they'll get the kill, and he's got the Aegis. He's absolutely fine here. Silent has bought back. He's back in the fight, but can they take down RTZ again? They may be able to. He does deny himself. And in the meantime, on the backside, Puppy and the rest of Secret have done a lot of work. They've cleaned up the tower, they've cleared up the racks. They may pay the price for staying, though, but the mech comes out from Secret, and now Empire have to be in trouble here. S4 has got the ultimate pop, doing a lot of damage, and Loki may fall here. He's just alive. No, the Shuri Toss does, just does finish him off. And, uh,. Zai looking for more here, diving back behind the Ancient. Oh, he's on a fly, does get a stun out. Low and it's so low here, he's got to be careful. They're just being herded back into their fountain as Puppy and the rest of Secret do clean up this bottom lane of Rax, and they're going to stick around. With the Shadow Fiend down, they're going to rotate mid, and uh, it doesn't look like... But yeah, Arteez has already respawned with that Bloodstone charges. Even with the kill on him and the deny, he's still got 12, and they're going to be able to pressure this tower very, very effectively. Empire looks like they can't really contest. They may go for one last play here, but uh, it's got to be a huge one. It's got to be absolutely massive. And uh, with the track scouting every move they make, the long-range lightning spam from Arteezy, I don't see how they can get in here. Tier 3 already fallen on Arteezy. He's going and he wants a kill here. Go Scepter on him as well. There's just no way they can kill him, it feels, with the support of this entire team. And, uh, with the pipe popped, they'll clean up this, this second lane of rats at 23 minutes. Um... Can Empire jump? They're gonna go for it here. Always wanna fly, wants the swap. Is he gonna find anyone? Arteezy walks back in, ultimate popped on him. He gets stunned up momentarily, but he pops the BKB. He wants this, stun comes out. Oh, always wanna fly, who will fall. And at the same time, Z uh, Zai catches Silent on the backside. Back him down to the cogs and Black Hole to secure the kill. Silent will fall yet again, no buyback on him. Resolution pops his Requiem, but it's not doing a lot of work. Arteezy just doing whatever he wants here. Wall is popped, but it's completely pointless. And Secret of rotated in this top lane. GG does come out. 29 to 11. Absolutely dominant showing from Uradian squad. That ended up being a 30k gold lead at 24 minutes. We're talking about more than a K gold gained in advantage per minute this game. What a showing from Secret. So, 2 0 already. Empire on the verge of being knocked out of this final and uh, I hope for all our sakes that they can pull it back in the next game because no one wants to see a 3-0 knockout here in the grand finals of the uh geez what is it the <laughs> Mars Dota League so thanks for watching the video I hope you've enjoyed the cast hope that the quality was uh, better than uh, some of the videos we've seen coming out from Perfect World so uh subscribe to the channel if you like my casting and I'll have uh, the next three videos for this best of uh, best of five final, uh, if we make it to five games, coming up on my channel shortly. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Take care. See you soon.